Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about pre-void and post-void residual volume bladder ultrasound. Pre-void bladder volume is measured when the bladder is comfortably full. The measurement is taken before urination. The bladder must be comfortably full. These are images of a full bladder before urination. This is a transverse view and this image is in longitudinal view. After obtaining the transverse view of the bladder, you can place two calipers in this manner. The first caliper is placed at the interior wall of the bladder and the second caliper is placed at the posterior wall. Take the largest measurement you can find in the image. In this image, this was the longest dimension. So the calipers were placed over here. This is the anteroposterior or AP measurement or the height of the bladder. After that, you can measure the width of the full bladder by placing the calipers horizontally. Try to get the longest dimension, which is at this point. This is the width of the bladder. After these two measurements, you can measure the length of the bladder in longitudinal plane. This is the longitudinal plane showing the bladder. Place one caliper at its superior margin and the second caliper at its inferior edge. Again getting the longest dimension possible in the image. This is the length of the bladder. Now we got three values, the anterior posterior height, the width and the length. Now we can use these three values to obtain the bladder volume, the pre-void bladder volume. The ultrasound machine will automatically find the bladder volume once these three measurements are taken. Manually, it is calculated using this formula. Estimated bladder volume is equal to 0.75 into width into length into height. This formula is used to estimate the bladder volume. The values here will be in centimeters. In this example, the bladder's AP measurement was 6.09 centimeters. The width was 8.4 centimeters and the length was 11.45 centimeters. This gave a volume of 306.63 milliliters. This is the pre-void bladder volume. That is the volume of the bladder before urination. After pre-void volume has been measured, the patient is asked to urinate to empty the bladder. After urination, the bladder volume is measured again to determine the amount of urine left in the bladder after urination. This is the post void residual or PVR. If a high PVR volume is found, it can indicate difficulty in bladder emptying. A small amount of urine left in the bladder after urination is normal. A value of 50 ml or less is normal in adults, although this range can vary based on age and gender. A post-void residual volume of more than 100 milliliters is considered abnormal and requires further evaluation. High volumes can be due to obstruction, weak bladder muscles or nerve problems affecting bladder control. Male patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia may have an abnormal post-void residual volume. 
the enlarged prostate can cause obstruction in the urethra which affects bladder emptying and leads to an increased post void residual volume. These are images of the bladder after urination. The bladder dimensions are measured in the same manner as shown previously. In the transverse view, the height is measured by placing one caliper at the interior wall and the second caliper at the posterior wall. The width is measured by placing the calipers horizontally across the bladder wall and the length is measured in the longitudinal plane by placing the calipers in this manner and obtaining the longest dimension. After urinating, the bladder appears very small in these images. In this example, the AP measurement was 2.56 cm, the width was 3.15 cm and the length was 3.18 cm. This gave a volume of 30.45 ml, which is normal. So this bladder has a normal post void residual volume. The bladder appears small. Now we will look at abnormal post void residual volumes. The image on the left shows a pre void full bladder. This is the full bladder before urination. And the image on the right shows the bladder after urination. These are the bladder dimensions taken after urinating. The AP measurement was 48.2 mm or 4.82 cm. The width was 98.6 mm or 9.86 cm. And the length, which is not shown in this image, was 46 mm or 4.6 cm. This gave a volume of 164 milliliters. This is abnormal as post void residual volume must be 50 milliliters or less. You can still see a filled bladder despite urination, which indicates difficulty in bladder emptying. A volume of approximately 164 milliliters of urine is still left behind in the bladder despite urination. So this is an abnormal post void residual volume. This is an example of a normal post void residual volume. The image on the left shows a pre void full bladder with a pre void volume of 408.7 milliliters. And the image on the right shows the bladder after urination. The bladder appears smaller. The post void residual volume was 34.7 milliliters. You can easily see a small bladder. Now we will compare the appearance of a normal post void residual volume, a normal bladder appearance after urination with an abnormal post void residual volume which still shows a filled bladder despite urination. The normal bladder appears smaller after urination, whereas over here we have a bladder length of 15.7 centimeters, a width of 9.73 centimeters, and an AP measurement of 7.42 centimeters which gave a post void residual volume of 595 milliliters, which is abnormal. This indicates a severe case of difficulty in urination and requires further evaluation and intervention. This image is of the same case with a PVR volume of 595 milliliters a distended bladder is seen in longitudinal plane. 
you can compare this appearance with the normal bladder after urination in longitudinal plane and you can see a significant difference in the size. The AP measurement can also be measured in the longitudinal plane instead of measuring it in transverse plane. It is measured in a similar manner by placing the calipers at the anterior and posterior walls of the bladder. This is another example showing an abnormal post-void residual volume. The bladder still appears filled with urine after urination. The PVR volume was 240 milliliters. So this indicates an abnormal post-void residual volume. This image is in transverse plane. We can still see a distended bladder despite urination. You can compare this appearance with that of the normal bladder after urination and you can see a significant difference in size. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.